I want to welcome you to Ethical Hacking Essentials. We have a lot of very interesting items to cover and it's going to be a lot of fun. And so let me just introduce myself to you. My name is Kevin King and I have been working in the IT field for quite a long time uh, from Fortune 500 companies to even smaller ones. And I've had the opportunity to work with network cybersecurity on many different levels. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it's fun. So if you are interested in ethical hacking, then it's the place to be. Uh, this world needs people who know what's going on with hacking, with protocols, with uh, computer systems. So we need you. Uh, so I'm glad you are here. And as a student of this class, uh, you may have uh, expect expectations. And I want you to know that some of the things that we want to do here, number one is I want to help you understand the essentials of ethical hacking. And number two, I want you to be able to do some ethical hacking uh, in the labs. And so that's uh, very important to me also. And I want you to walk away uh, feeling like you have a good start, a good start into ethical hacking. So let's get started here. And the first thing I want to talk about is what is the Ethical Hacking Essentials program? Well, it is a security program. We look at fundamental concepts in this program. We look at information security. We look at ethical hacking. And so uh, it equips you as a student in this class with the skills that you're going to need uh, to be able to identify the increasing information security threats that you'll see around you. There are so many threats that are growing around the world and look at security posture of your organization and also not just identify, but implement. That means doing, right? That means that you're gonna use the skills that you get from the hands-on exercises uh, in, in iLabs and CyberQ and actually know how to do a lot of these items. So what do we have for you? Well, first of all, we have this uh, introduction uh, that we're talking about here. Um, and then after that, we go into some fundamentals of information security. Uh, we look at some fundamentals of ethical hacking. We're going to look at information security threats. We're going to look at how do you assess the vulnerability of, a, of an application, uh, of a port or whatever. We're going to look at password cracking techniques. And wait a minute, not just techniques, but some countermeasures. So if you look at the, the all except for the last module, uh, we don't just look at techniques, but we look at countermeasures. Yes, you want to be an ethical hacker. I think it's a great thing to do, but you want to be able to use those skills also to protect yourself and the organizations uh, that you are working with. So cracking techniques, countermeasures, social engineering techniques, countermeasures, network level attacks, countermeasures, web application attacks, and countermeasures, wireless attacks, and countermeasures. Same with mobile, IoT, and OT attacks. And uh, lastly, before we go into Mod 12, we have cloud computing threats. And guess what? That's right, countermeasures. And then we're going to spend some time talking about pen testing. With pen testing, this is where you take all your skills as an ethical hacker and you're hired by an organization or as an employee of an organization, you're asked to try to crack into, break into, penetrate this organization, this application, uh, and then come up with a really good report that shows us what's wrong. Anyway, we'll get into it when we get to module 12. Uh, let's just move on and talk about uh, some other stuff you'll learn. Like for instance, if you go down here, and when we get to network level attacks, we'll talk about sniffing, talk about session hijacking, denial of service. When we get to application, we'll talk about web server attacks, uh, web application attacks. We'll talk about SQL injection. When we get into mobile platform, we'll even talk a little bit about mobile platform management, security, security guidelines and tools. When we get into IoT and OT, we'll talk about the concepts. A lot of people have never heard of OT and they have a vague idea of IoT. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about cloud computing technologies. We'll talk about cloud computing threats. We'll talk about attacks and guess what? Security techniques. And 
uh, and then some of the fundamentals of pen testing like I talked about before for that last module. Probably the one of, I, and it's super important, I was going to say probably the most important, but you really need both, uh, is this lab environment where you're going to be able to have access to Windows workstations and servers, uh, Parrot Linux security for your hacking, uh, Android and Ubuntu. And what we're going to need to do is make sure that you don't just listen to and participate in these lectures, but at the end of each lecture, or maybe even during the lecture, you pause it and you work on the labs because that's where you're going to get the hands-on uh, muscle memory, uh, tools, et cetera, that you need to be a good ethical hacker. All right, so welcome to the class. We're gonna look at the essentials of ethical hacking. It's great to have you, glad you signed up, and let's get started. Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials Module 1. And here in Module 1, what we're going to have a look at is information security fundamentals. Uh, what we're going to do with information security fundamentals is we're going to, number one, understand the need for information security. We're going to look at the elements of information security and we're going to look at the security, functionality, and usability triad and we're going to look at motives and goals for attacks uh, on information security. Uh, we're going to look at the classification of attacks. So what kind of attacks are there, et cetera. And we're also going to look at attack vectors. And lastly, about some laws and regulations regarding information security. Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials Module 2, where we're going to take a look at some ethical hacking fundamentals. In this module, we're going to take a look at seven different items. Number one, the kill chain. Number two, TTPs, which are tactics, techniques, and procedures. Number three, the concept of IOCs, which are indicators of compromise. We're going to look also at hacking concepts, and hacker classes, we're going to look at the phases of the hacking cycle in section five. Then we're going to look at uh, understanding ethical hacking, the concept and scope of ethical hacking, and then we're going to look at some ethical hacking tools that I'm hoping you'll get a chance to use some of them in the iLabs where you'll get to practice some of the items that we talk about uh, in these modules.
Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials. We're in Module 3. Here in Module 3, we're going to be looking at information security threats and vulnerability assessment. So let's have a look. Uh, there are eight sections that we are going to consider in this area. Number one, we're going to look at threats and threat sources. Number two, we're going to look at malware, the concept, the components of malware. We're going to look at some of the common techniques that attackers use to distribute malware on the web, on the internet. We're going to be looking at the different types of malware, malware countermeasures. We're going to understand vulnerability, understand vulnerability classification. We're going to understand vulnerability assessment and types of vulnerability assessment and scoring systems, the vulnerability management life cycle. And lastly, here in section eight, we're going to be looking at vulnerability assessment tools and taking those vulnerabilities and exploiting them. I'd like to welcome you to Module 4 of Ethical Hacking Essentials. In this module, we're going to look at password cracking techniques and countermeasures. We have five different sections to look at in this module. Uh, number one is going to be looking at the password cracking uh, techniques uh, in general. And what about password complexity? We're going to be looking also next in section two at Microsoft Authentication. Why Microsoft? Well, because it's one of the most popular ways of doing authentication. After that, in section three, we're gonna look at the various types of password attacks. In section four, we're gonna look at password cracking tools. And last, we're going to look at countermeasures against password cracking attacks. Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials. We are in Module 5. We're in Module 5 looking at social engineering techniques and countermeasures. In Module 5, we're going to look at several different things. And we're going to start with uh, understanding social engineering concepts. Uh, next, we're going to go to the techniques of threats uh, in terms of insider and identity theft. We're going to look at some countermeasures to help save your organization and you and me from social engineers. And we'll also look at insider threats, which really threaten our organizations. And we'll look at identity theft countermeasures. All right, let's look into it. Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials. We are in Module 6. We're going to have a look at network level attacks and countermeasures. 
Let's get started. So let's have a look at the module objectives. We're going to start off with understanding packet sniffing, types of sniffing, various sniffing techniques and tools. We're going to look at sniffing countermeasures because you want to make sure that you can sniff networks. Maybe you're on the red team or something like that, but you don't want an attacker to be able to sniff your network. So you need these countermeasures. We're going to look also in this module at denial of service and distributed denial of service attacks and different types of attacks and tools and countermeasures. So sniffing and then denial of service. And then we're going to look at one more segment, which is uh, session hijacking and session hijacking tools and countermeasures. So you see we have three different themes uh, in this module. Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials. We are in Module 7. In Module 7, we're going to be looking at web application attacks and countermeasures. Web applications have become such an important part of everything we do that it's very important to understand how attacks occur and how to defend against them. With that, we're going to be looking at eight different sections in this module. Number one, we're going to understand web server concepts. Uh, how do web servers work? And then how do attacks occur? We're going to be looking at web server attack tools and countermeasures. Then we're going to move from web servers to web applications. We're going to look at web application architecture and the stack of vulnerability and threats and attacks to web applications and some of the tools that we can use as countermeasures uh, for web applications. And then from web applications, we're going to move to a third topic that's uh, part and parcel of this whole thing because so many web applications that are running on web servers are attacked through injection attacks like SQL injection attacks. So we're going to talk about SQL injection attacks and tools and countermeasures. Welcome to Ethical Hacking Essentials, where we're looking in Module 8 at wireless attacks and countermeasures. Uh, let's have a look. With wireless attacks and countermeasures, we have several different objectives that we need to accomplish with this module, including looking at terminology and algorithms for wireless, uh, looking at uh, wireless network-specific attack techniques and tools, and actually understanding another type of wireless, which would be Bluetooth attack techniques and other countermeasures to stop people from attacking your wireless network. And then we'll look at some wireless security tools. <laughs> 